Wait for me! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> you say he's bouncing valves trying to keep up with her. <laughs> You're enjoying that power, aren't you? Are Very you in, nice. Are you in sport? I'm in sport. Right then. Happy, happy? Yep. Coolio. Some nice feel to the brakes as usual for a Honda. Yes, I thought that as well. Oops. Okay, yeah, the indicator button's a bit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> we can find it to cancel. Yep. And look what's next to it. The hazards button. So how many times have I hit the hazards? Yeah. But you get I used to it. That. It's quite buzzy through the foot pegs. I noticed it a little bit, but I didn't think it was bad. So hit your mode button until you get to sport, and then close and open your throttle. I mean. Okay, now wind it open and change gear with your throttle still open. There we are. Very good. And that's also for downshifting. As long as your throttle's closed, you can change down without your clutch. So if I was you, I'd put it in something like fourth gear and get ready for the National. It's high revving. <laughs> yeah. I'm not used to revving a bike this high. <laughs> and then really wind it open and quick shift. I can't keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yes. Very fun. Got a bit more wind blast than the 650. Oh, I didn't notice that much. It's surprisingly smooth on the 650. It's just bizarre how smooth it is at 70 <laughs> miles an hour. It's not bad on this bike. You can just feel it a bit more, that's all. Mm. So it's a right at the roundabout to Loughborough. Okie dokie. Do you have to have the quick shifter enabled? No, you can turn it off in the menu. Okay. Not easy to see the gear indicator. Oh, I didn't have a problem with that. I did put my indicator on, by the way. Yes, I know. <laughs> it's got a self-cancelling that you can turn off. Ah, now well, that explains it. You're enjoying that power, aren't you? Yes, it's nice. It's nice to have a bike that's got some power to it. The seat is a little bit firmer than normal. Again, something I didn't think about. Not bad, but it's definitely firmer than the 650s. Probably on a par with the MT-07. I suppose I'm used to riding the Zero, which has got a bit of a plank for a seat. Sometimes though, it's just that the pressure points are different, so it might not be that it's too firm, but it does feel very firm, actually. <laughs> there isn't much squish in this seat. <laughs> yeah, I quite like the balance between the, the pegs, the seat and the handlebars. I think it's nicely designed for a smaller people. It's definitely for me, it's perfect. I think people with longer legs might struggle a bit. Yeah. Suspension's a little bit boingy. Okay. And we're going to go left at the lights onto Floorforth Lane. We're going to go at uh, the lights. Left, left, left. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it funny how the radio just does that on the worst word? Yes. Which gear I'm in third. Now I had it in third gear here and I really gunned it away. Okay, I'm in fourth. Let's go for those. I don't like it in first. <laughs> <laughs> Try and keep up with you. No. <laughs> That's got a lot of power, hasn't it? Yeah, 91 brake out of a twin. That's insane. Are you sure it's not a bit too powerful for those learners? In rain mode? I don't think so, no. That's what I mean. Having the modes will certainly help. Okay. Because it brings the traction control up, the ABS and the wheelie control. It is ridiculously fast. It is, isn't it? 
very easy to handle though, it's lovely. Mm, see why I like it. So we can either go left at the roundabout and back to Virtue, or we can go all the way round that big roundabout and back on this road. Got some lovely engine braking. I'm in fourth gear yes. and it's just slowing down beautifully. I said the same at this point on my review. <laughs> exactly the same point. Isn't that funny? And also the suspension doesn't seem too harsh to me, because some of those bumps have been over. It's actually surprisingly smooth. Yeah, it's a little bit harsh. Compared okay. to the 650s, it feels harsher. Okay. The 650s are lovely and smooth. Suits you, though. It doesn't look too big for you at all. It looks like quite a small bike. When I mm. looked at it, I, I thought it was like an upgraded 500. Can you imagine that with the lust on it, the lowering kit? Yeah. It's fine as it is. You're flat-footed now. Yeah. Slight camera. I wouldn't be able to move it backwards if I was sitting on it. And that's where it, it's quite useful. Whoops. <laughs> I can't help but roll off the throttle. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't like it if you roll off. Yeah. And then use the quick shifter. It gets a bit confused. <laughs> oh, it's very nice to handle. Yep. That was easy. Definitely more wind blast on my face and my shoulders using the brakes a bit because I've not really used them. Yeah. The, nice. The brakes have got a nice feel to them, I mentioned that. They're quite sharp as well, but the back is actually better than a lot of Honda brakes I've tried. Yes. So I am impressed with that. Where are we going? Well, if you want to go back, we turn right. If you want to go for another play, we go left. Left it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not often I can actually ride different bikes, is it? No. Where I can reach the floor, so this is quite a, a nice treat. Well that's it, I mean for you to be able to touch the floor on a standard bike is a bit of an achievement really. And I've got to slum it on this beautiful CB500. I know. Our lives just get worse, you know. One of these buttons is the indicator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I hit the hazards three times. Oh, I've managed not to do that yet. It's a very busy dash. You might be able to customise it a little bit. What's the P, the T and the EB for? Power, traction control... Um, effervescent baseball. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, I think so too. I'll test your suspension. Purposefully going over yeah. some of the bumps. Yeah. <laughs> Very easy to speed on this bike. Yeah. My biggest complaint was it doesn't have cruise control. That would be nice, but I'm used to riding bikes that don't have cruise control, so. And I'm just lazy. But it's easy to hold it. We don't even have mm. a palm rest on this, and this is easy. And have you noticed the um, the fuel mapping on it as well? How smooth that is. Very. And I found fourth gear at 30. If you try it yeah. in third, it's a not, little too sharp. Certainly not fifth. I was in fifth as I came in, and it didn't like it. So. Well, I put it in sixth and tried to pull away, and it was really moaning at me. I'm not surprised. You're asking too much. Because it's ridiculously powerful, even in standard mode. Mm -hmm definitely gentler with its acceleration. Yeah. yeah, I thought that. And it tells you you've got like maximum traction control as well. Yeah, that's clever. It's very clever in how it delivers the power. Yep. It just held it back a little bit there. I'd already opened the throttle as much as I wanted to and it held it back and gradually increased it. Nice. I'm keeping it in fifth gear to see if it manages the hill. Yeah. <laughs> Beginning to say, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having to really open the throttle to keep it going at 50. Yeah, but it does become okay. a bit of a pussycat, doesn't it? Yeah, the wind is very comfortable at 50, that's fine. Try those brakes. Gave myself a bit of extra power then just to try them a bit more. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're lovely. Still plenty powerful enough in rain mode. Yeah. That was third gear acceleration. But not ridiculous. No. Looks like it's taking the bumps well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How's your teeth? What teeth? <laughs> so you can pop it back into sport mode. It's so easy to change the modes, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit bouncy. Okay, I think the suspension's adjustable. I'm really having to hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Whee, again, again. Like being a li little bit on a bouncy castle. Mm. Might be worth mentioning it to them because you are light. 
that's true. I do like the engine braking. Yes, it's incredibly good, isn't it? Yeah, you can really control how fast you want to be going just with the throttle. Mm. You need brakes. Very nicely balanced and I've got a lovely light clutch. Yeah, I can't believe how nice that clutch is. And it's also quite forgiving. Wait for me! <laughs> Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> you see he's bouncing valves trying to keep up with her. <laughs> You're enjoying that power aren't you? Are Very you in, nice. Are you in sport? I'm in sport. I don't think I've ridden a twin as nice as this since I wrote my TDM. Yep. That was great fun. It's just the, the way the firing order's set, it doesn't feel like a flat twin. It feels like a V. Yeah. You're doing yeah. on my side of the road. I was just <laughs> thinking the same thing. It's a bit muddy. It does doesn't it? Sorry Honda, I'm getting your bike dirty. Sorry Honda. <laughs> I'm starting to accelerate early to allow for you. <laughs> wait Sorry. for me, wait for me. I was being super smooth because I'm still in sport. <laughs> Come on up the hill baby, you can do it. <laughs> You've got to work that bike. It's like driving a van. I know. You really have to work the gears on it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I saw that. It's just made my moves wobble. I'm sure it just rev bumped for me, not rev bumped, you know what I mean? Rev, rev match, it yeah. does. Yes, oh, it does. That was weird. If you close your throttle and change down, it does rev match. It's a very clever system. It's better than my Aprilia one, but that is an optional extra. It doesn't come standard with it. The extra is £600 for the tailpiece, the foot pegs, the quick shifter and the screen. Which okay. even then I don't think is ridiculous for all that. Yeah, I'm not especially keen on the suspension, as it is at the moment. Mm trying to see if it was adjustable at the front but I can't see but it feels well balanced at slow speeds yes I think 91 brake as well out of a 750 twin is, uh, is a good choice and it puts it within the A2 category as well I was going to say that makes it restrictable doesn't it yeah and it's restrictable by ECU like the CB650 mm -hmm. this CB5 is so sweet I know it's got a happy engine if you know what yeah. I mean it's actually just like a little happy puppy. Very happy and very easy to ride. Mm, surprisingly comfortable too. Yeah. yeah, the seat on that is, is properly soft yeah. and a bit more cushioned, whereas this is quite firm. A couple of times when you pull the clutch and you think, is the cable snapped? <laughs> There's just nothing there. Oh, we've got to ride this road back. Oh. Yeah, damn it. Oh, I've only got one bar of fuel left. Oh. <laughs> one of my biggest concerns about it was it's only got a 15 litre fuel tank on it. Okay but it's 65 to the gallon so you've got right. 180 miles out of that tank without worrying well that's good that is very good isn't it this exhaust pops and bangs on this cv when you've got the revs i on. know bless it's it it's hilarious it's, it's a quite wannabe, cute, isn't it a wannabe fast bike yeah bad service mm -hmm. well, no. that was a choice between slippy stuff and pole yeah i'm in the same line as you sounds very sweet it's got a nice purr to it hasn't it yeah it doesn't sound like a normal straight twin. It definitely has character and a bit of a V configuration character to it. Nice looking village. Hmm, very nice. No idea where we are. We're at um, Thingy. Thingy, what's it? Thingy on the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely lines. It's really mm. easy, isn't it? Yeah. It's, I love the way it goes around the corners. It doesn't drop. I think uh, MCN had mentioned it does drop a bit and it's like, no, I've not noticed that. Mm, no? I Maybe mean, we're not leaning it enough. Yeah, exactly. This, this is the thing, isn't it? <laughs> They're going from the point of view of people that regularly break speed limits and push a bike that's not meant to be pushed like that. I think for us average human beings, that's more than you need. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw you go and think, all right, my turn. <laughs> I actually took my bum off the seat, that one. <laughs> it's a good test for the suspension, that. It's weird, though, because it's a mix between too firm and too soft for me. <laughs> I can't work out which one it is. Well, maybe that's what they were talking about with the suspension sometimes. I can't work out if the front is firm and the rear is soft. Yeah. Or the rear is firm and the front is soft. Mm. <laughs> Either way, my bum's lifting off the seat occasionally. I think it's more rear. I don't think it's front. Okay front feels okay. I'm not really fighting it with the handlebars. Which way are you right? Is it? Right. Lovely balance. Yeah. Yeah, slow speed's nice on it. Mm. 
<laughs> okay, and you can move in in a moment and I'll pull up on the other side of you. Crunch. <laughs> yeah, we've got the footage. Maybe you're just making the bike a little bit more planted. Because I'm fat. There you go. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Thank you. It's very smooth when you roll off the throttle. Yes. Very nice. Yes. I can't believe it's only a 750. I know. I said that. I'd put it more towards a 900 and with yes. the way it's riding. It feels very similar to my nine, old 900. And you love that bike. I did love that bike. I miss that bike. But I don't miss how big and heavy it was, whereas this is much more my size for handling. Yes, it's certainly a more up-to-date version, isn't it? Yeah. It suits you, looks really nice. It's very easy to ride. I bet Virtual wondering where we got to now. I know. <laughs> Someone who said they never wanted a naked bike, and that's me. It's actually very, very nice. Okay. So you know, I mean, without a screen. So you could be a bit of a convertee. Yeah. Well, that screen only comes on the sport version. The base version doesn't have that. No, well, I just mean a bike that doesn't have a proper touring screen. Right. I've always wanted a proper touring screen on my bikes because I'm a big fat wuss in terms well, of wind. I'm pretty sure that Jiffy would come out with some kind of a nice design screen that would do the job. Yeah, but it just doesn't necessarily need it. I'm surprised with how the airflow actually is. Mm. It's not disastrously uncomfortable. I'm finding the handlebars are a little bit too far forwards, but that's normal for me. We normally pull my handlebars back a little bit, don't we? I feel like I need to be a little bit closer to them. My With arms your, are pretty your much... little Tyrannosaurus Rex arms. Yeah, my elbows are pretty much locked. Oh, yeah. That's probably not helping with the suspension feeling, because if you get a bit of fluidity in your arms, it's easier, isn't it? Yes. But do you think you could do some miles on that? Yeah, definitely. I could, I could certainly do your average sort of let's go out for a fun ride miles. Mm. I probably wouldn't go touring on it because I think over an hour or two hours at 70 miles an hour would just be a bit much. It looks nice from the uh, front as well with your, your, your cruising lights on. Yes, yeah, a really good feature on all the Hondas now. I think I mentioned that on the 500 review. Yeah, these brakes are good. Yeah, they're very good. They've got a lot of feel to them. Whoops, I've hit the hazards. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel so bad now. It's only once though. Yeah, I think it's two or three times for me. The wave at the car behind to say sorry. Yeah, I could quite easily own one of these. Wow, I agree. I think you need to pay me more now, Russ. <laughs> so I can afford one, okay? Ah, uh, that's the best joke ever. Yeah, I had a funny feeling you wouldn't agree. <laughs> oh, it's beautifully balanced at slow speeds. Yes. Very nice. Beautifully balanced at slow speeds. This is really easy. I'm doing two miles an hour. <laughs> How awesome is that? That is a very good looking bike. Um, Christmas present? Or, Christmas. or birthday? Or both? <laughs> <laughs> You can see the quick shifter <laughs> mechanism just there, look. It puts, oh, yeah. puts pressure on that, and then that cuts the engine out whilst it changes gear. Clever. Very. Beautiful.